Hi guys, welcome to my Easter revision timetable video. Now, it is so important that you make the absolute most of your Easter holidays. This is an incredibly important, crucial time for you. We can't be wasting time. We need to get organized and we need to make sure that no subject is forgotten or left out so that you can feel as confident as possible in the run up to your exams. And so to that end, I've made you a revision timetable, which you can download for free and fill in. And I'm actually gonna show you how you're going to use that. So I just want to really show you how it works and how you can actually use it to maximise your learning. The very first thing you actually need to do though is to write out your list of subjects and get it sorted what you're actually taking and we need to decide how much time needs spending on each subject. So whatever happens, don't go and put loads and loads of sessions for your favourite subject. Say that that's maths. I know, strange, but for some people maths is their favourite subject. Don't fill half your timetable with maths because that's ridiculous because you're already good at it, so you need to be sensible. The whole point of revising is to fill in gaps in your knowledge, not to just convince yourself that you're even more amazing at maths. So let's sort, sort out your weightings right now. So I've written my sample list of subjects. Yours might look quite similar. You might have more subjects, less subjects. But the point is, I've written them all out. And now I'm going to use just smiley face emojis, basically, smiley faces and things, to work out how I actually feel about the subject. So for me, I uh, actually really like maths, so I'm going to put a smiley face there. English, literature and language, oh my god, English for me was an absolute no-go area, so I'm going to put that. Spanish, languages, I'm going to put a halfway sign, so I'm kind of okay, it's not as bad as English for me, but it's not great. And I'll just keep going down, and then obviously... For me, I'm going to do big fat smiley faces for science because hopefully I know my science and the geography is another kind of, mm, it's okay. So I've got it in my head which subjects I think I'm good at. Now it's a matter of looking at the amount of material that needs to be covered. So maths is an interesting one because you can do it kind of with music on. All you have to do is kind of rattle through past paper questions. So in terms of my scaling, I'm going to put that as an F at three with one needing the least amount of work putting into it and five needing the most. So I'm going to put a four for English literature, um, a three for English language. Spanish, I feel like it kind of sits in the middle. It's not insane amounts of content, so that's a three. Latin, there's a lot of prose to learn, so that's four. Art, there's an awful lot to do with art, we know that, so that's another four. And then physics, chemistry and biology, simply because of the amount of content, biology is a five, whereas physics and chemistry I think would be a four, geography, awful lot of case studies, so that's a five. Now I'm going to show you the revision timetable and how you're actually going to use this to fill out your timetable. So when you've opened up the download, what you'll see is a list of instructions on how you're actually going to fill out your timetable, special tips and things to help you actually keep on track. I filled out a sample timetable here. And then after that, there's loads and loads of blank timetable, week one, week two, etc. And that can hopefully take you all the way through to your exams and to the end of your exams. So I'll now zoom in and actually show you what everything says. So the first point is that you're going to revise for two out of the three sessions a day. I've broken up each day into three sessions. Session one is the morning session. Session two is the afternoon session. Session three is the evening session. So you're going to work for two out of three of those sessions. It doesn't matter which one you pick. Say you like a lion, fine, take the morning session off. Say you don't like working in the evening, take the evening session off. Say you want a nice big gap between your revision sessions, take the afternoon off. The beauty of it is, though, you can vary that day by day. So it's not like you always have to take the morning session off. So, for example, on Monday, I've got plans of going to the cinema, something like that. That's why I'm taking the evening session off. Maybe I want to go shopping. That's why I've taken the afternoon session off on the Tuesday. But you're only going to be working for two out of three of those sessions. So I've printed it out just to show you a bit more clearly what I'm talking about. The second point is don't feel guilty if you take the whole day off. Your Easter holidays are quite long. It's a very long slog to your exams. You cannot be working every single day. So do not feel guilty if you take an entire day off. You're not there to punish yourself. If you work hard and follow the revision timetable all the time for the rest of that exam period, the rest of the Easter holidays, you should have no reason as to why you need to feel guilty for taking a whole day off. So if it's your birthday or whatever, do that. I hope it's quite obvious when you're revising that you are not supposed to have your phone on you. You are not supposed to be checking your notifications. You're not supposed to be on Snapchat. How can you possibly concentrate on your Latin declensions? 
if you are looking at your phone. So I want your phone out of the room for that one hour while you're revising. No disturbances, please. The point of the 15 minute break is that you are totally allowed to go get your phone, catch up on what's been going on, maybe go for a little walk, maybe watch a bit of TV. Doesn't matter what you do with those 15 minutes in your break, that time is yours, but please don't be on your phone during the revision time because that totally defeats the purpose. So each session is broken up into three hour revising chunks, but the point is you're only revising for a maximum of one hour at a time. So for example, session one in the morning, your first revision slot is from nine till 10. So it's an hour long. I do not recommend revising for any longer than that. It has been scientifically proven that humans cannot concentrate for very long periods of time. You will find yourself switching off, procrastinating, going on your phone, doing stupid stuff. And that quite frankly is a massive waste of time. So make sure you're only working for that hour. Then you can see I've embedded 15 minute breaks. So you're doing one hour on, 15 minute break, one hour on, 15 minute break. Then it's time for lunch. So you've got lots of breaks included. In terms of your revision etiquette, make sure you're nice and organized before you get down to work. Get your calculator out, your ruler, your sharp pencil, your rubber, plenty of pens, some nice colored pens. Don't have them all scattered around the house because you're just gonna keep getting up and down and you need to be in that revision zone. You need to be focused and you can't be using it as an excuse to wander off because quite frankly, you're not revising. So it's all about being organized at this point. Keep yourself well hydrated. You want a nice big glass of water. Keep sipping that slowly throughout the day to keep your cells hydrated. It'll help your concentration levels and keep some healthy snacks at hand. So maybe some nuts and seeds in order to actually help you um, power through that revision. When it gets to actually sit in your exams, you can alter the timetable to, for your needs so what we could do is we could change it to the week beginning, let's pretend it's the 22nd of May, and we can delete all the times from the revision timetable, and instead we're going to fit it to your exam timetable, and you want to insert all your exams. So for most schools, the first exam tends to start around 9.30am, the afternoon exam starts about 2pm, maybe a bit earlier, depends on the school. So pop that in, and then go through inserting your exams you have that week. So for example, 1P or the physics exam could be in the morning slot of the Wednesday and then you could have a French exam on the afternoon slot on Thursday and pop in all your exams and then you can actually see what you should be revising. So obviously in the morning of that Thursday you're going to be wanting to revise French. Don't go learning English, that makes no sense. So actually insert your exams and then you can arrange your revision around that really easily and these are very easy to delete. You can literally delete that entire column if you want. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and sub if you haven't already and I'll be back soon with another video. I hope all your work's going well guys. See you soon. Bye. Can we just talk about how cute my cat is? Kitten, you've still got yoghurt all over your face. She was here the whole time. But Martin says my massive head was hiding her. Lyra. <laughs>